Hillary Clinton, Nathan Tengowski's favorite candidate, did an excellent job at defending past mistakes. When asked of her responsibility in a potentially damaging email scandal, Hillary Clinton replied saying, how could I have been responsible for administrating a server dangerously when I don't even know how to set my DVR? In other news, Hillary Clinton thinks she's very funny. <laughs> when asked whether or not she'd say anything to get elected, Clinton replied with, well actually, I have been consistent over the course of my entire life. I support marriage for lesbian and gay couples. I do not support gay marriage. Not only was her response a lie, it's also the response that her focus groups found to be most effective for gaining votes in Iowa. Later on, when asked about the Keystone Pipeline, Clinton said, I never took an opinion on Keystone until I took an opinion on Keystone to show off her experience that she learned at the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> Recently, Bill Clinton was asked how Hillary's potential use of unfair election practices would affect their marriage. He responded, Hillary and I have an agreement about cheating. <laughs> a new study has shown that if the government had a nickel for every time the phrases billionaire class, the 1%, or make them pay their fair share were said during the Democratic debate, there would be no tuition at public universities and Social Security would be solvent until 2050. When asked why Lincoln Chafee voted in favor of repealing Glass-Steagall banking regulations, he responded that his father had just died. To be fair, that's only part of the problem. His dog also ate his copy of Law, his printer didn't work, and Blackboard wasn't working. <laughs> Jim Webb also caught a decent amount of attention during the Democratic debate, and definitely stuck out during the debate when all the candidates were asked who was their largest enemy. I'd have to say the enemy soldier that threw the grenade that wounded me, but he's not around right now to <laughs> talk to. Some may say that Jimmy is not capable of being the president, but there's absolutely no doubt that he's capable of being savage. <laughs> Jim Webb said that affirmative action policies are institutional racism and that gun laws can be far too uh, restrictive to many Americans. A new poll has shown that 90% of Americans believe that Jim Webb used Apple Maps to get directions to the Republican debate. After the Democratic debate, many pronounced Bernie Sanders as the winner. But it's important to remember that in Democratic debates, the score is kept only by the number of times you say the word free. I'm Luke Webb, who is not related to Jim Webb. And I'm Alex Christie, who is not related to Chris Christie. Thank you so much for watching the recap of the Democratic debate.